YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching from. This is an auto in China, but now I'm an auto in Kenya. And uh, I'm on my way to uh, railway easy coach booking station. I'm traveling to Kitale and then to West Pokot County. Uh, my flatmate in China is the wedding tomorrow so we are going to document how the uh, Pokot traditional wedding happens or how the African wedding happens so I'm delighted because we stay together in the same flat in China and uh, I'm actually in the country so this comes in handy so we'll be taking you along uh, the journey but unfortunately I want to document my journey because I'm traveling at night but uh, the few moments we have, I'll be showing you what's happening. On my way to the uh, uh, bus station. So, tune in, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is an auto in China. I'm on Thika Super Highway, actually, right about now. Uh, that is uh, Thika Super Highway. Going this way is uh, going to Kasarani. And uh, we have a very international stadium around this place. It's called the Kasarani International Stadium. No, it's more international sports center Kasarani. It's named after the former president, the former former, but now he's deceased. It's called the Kasarani, more international sports center Kasarani. It's somewhere here, but uh, there are so many lorries. Let's see if we could see Kasarani Stadium. Okay. The stadium is over there. If you can see the booster over there, that's the stadium. Stadium. But you can't see it clearly because this place has been demarcated. So, yeah, here you can see clearly. It's called Home of Champions, Kasarani Stadium. And on this other end, we normally have Safari Park. I'll be showing you Safari Park. The entrance of the stadium is this. This should be gate A or something. You can enter the stadium here. More International Sports Centre, Kasarani. And you can see the mini statue of an athlete holding the Kenyan flag. And Safari Park is on this other way, Safari Park, uh, it's an international hotel, and that here we have some, we have a Catholic church. Anyway, so this is an auto in China. I'm glad that you, uh, you guys uh, have been part of my journey all the way from China to Africa. I'm joined with uh, my amazing driver here. What's your name? Bonfus Mutuko. Bonfus Mutuko. Yes. Uh, how are you doing? I'm very okay. Uh -huh. And I love uh, the, the experience of driving you to town. Okay, okay. Through this super highway. Uh, all right. Uh, we, I hope that we will not be caught up with a lot of traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we get to the destination yeah, town. Yeah, well. Yes. Uh, it's actually flowing as you can see it's flowing yes. and right about now we are at garden city mall this is garden city mall uh, it's uh, around 6 30 6 40 so we are cruising this is the thicker super highway and we are enjoying the journey i hope you won't get there because at eight o'clock at 8 15 we need to start the journey but in the meantime, I can interact to my driver and get to know him and uh, his experiences in Kenya. What's your worst experience as an Uber driver in Kenya? Uh, one of the worst situations is when you have a customer uh -huh. who maybe they do not know where they are going, mm -hmm. but uh, they expect you to take you to the pin. <laughs> where they are to take you to the pin where, where they have placed the, the, location. the location and uh, there is no road oh. heading to there that place <laughs> because uh, the google map road maybe has been grabbed mm -hmm. or maybe the road has not been developed mm -hmm. and then now when you get stuck mm -hmm. the customer doesn't want to uh, understand mm -hmm. they want you to take you to the location that they uh, pinned as the end destination of their trip Oh, okay. So that is uh, very tricky and uh -huh. uh, it has not been very, a very good experience okay. trying to explain to people maybe who do not know exactly that can happen. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yes. 
And uh, if I may ask, uh, today is a Friday, and you know, on a Friday, people like to go out and party. So, have you ever had an worse experience first with the male clients and then second with the female clients? Yes. Who are drunk? Yes. One time I got a request in a place called Langata. Langata is along, uh, it's actually on the other side of town or okay. towards the national park. And, uh, when I got to the place, the house, a very young lady came out with a gentleman and they were both drunk. Then the gentleman, because he's the one who requested for the ride, told me that I should take the, the girl to an estate along the road called Maziwa. Maziwa okay. This young girl was very drunk, so after just a few minutes, mm -hmm. the girl went home. What? She was completely asleep. Mm -hmm. It was around uh, 10 at night. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Maziwa, the lady could not speak. She was uh, completely dead uh, asleep. And the guy who requested the, the, the trip, his phone was off. What? So I stayed at the, at the, the gate uh -huh. of the estate, uh -huh. uh, wondering what am I going to do with this young girl. What? <laughs> the soldiers that uh, were at the gate, uh -huh. they told me that, that they don't know the girl. What? So the three of them came and told me that we don't know this girl. So just take the girl to the police station. Uh -huh. So I was there wondering now what am I going to do? Uh -huh. And uh, after 30 minutes uh -huh. thinking on what to do, uh -huh. uh, a, a, a neighbor in that uh, estate uh -huh. came. Uh -huh. A very big vehicle, actually a Prado. Uh -huh. And I decided let me ask these people. Uh -huh. Because they stay in this estate, maybe they don't. They know the girl. Yeah. Uh, they can assist. Uh -huh. To my surprise, uh -huh. when I talked to the gentleman who was driving the Prado, uh -huh. uh, he accepted to come to my car uh -huh. and uh, look at the girl. Uh -huh. And uh, it happened that the gentleman knew the girl. Oh. Actually, the girl actually was uh, uh, is uh, just. The next neighbor, next door neighbor. Yeah, to uh -huh. this uh, museum. Uh -huh. So I told him where we have come from, and uh, the wife who he was driving with uh -huh. decided to go and knock the door uh -huh. of the girl's home. Uh -huh. So the parents came out, uh -huh. and uh, I explained myself. Uh -huh. I told them uh, the, where I got the girl from. Uh -huh. The girl at this time, all that time, actually, the girl was still asleep, uh -huh. but in my car. Uh -huh. So they took the girl. Uh, they decided to pay me, uh -huh. and I gave them my number. Uh -huh. Just in case. So that uh, just in case of anything, tomorrow they can call me. Oh, okay. So I just shared my number with them. Uh -huh. And they, the, the, the father of the girl paid me and I went home, but now... As oh, you mentioned the father? Yes, I met the father of the girl now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What? After spending an hour there, uh -huh. looking for the home where I can drop the girl. Uh -huh. So, that was actually the worst experience, driving at night and uh, driving a, a young lady who was drunk. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. And what time was it in the night? What time? It was around 11. I took, I took the trip at around 10. Oh, 10, okay. So we were arriving at uh, the destination around 11, okay. somewhere 11 there. Uh -huh. So now looking for the home, it took like 20, 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was almost actually midnight oh, when okay. I was uh, now able to connect the girl with the, the real parents. Okay. Yes. And, uh, because I know if you book Uber and you stay somewhere for a long time, they are waiting charges. Yes. So, uh, how much did they add on the waiting charges or did they just pay the exact amount? No, 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 no. Actually, the, the father was so remorseful. Uh -huh. and, uh, he added me another extra 500 shillings on oh. top of the money. Oh, okay, okay. That was reflected in the hub. Oh. So, he was very appreciative. Uh, he appreciated actually my. Effort. My, my efforts and patience. Yes, and yeah, patience. Yeah.
Yeah. And I, because I told him that I, I am supposed to have taken the girl to the police station. Yeah. yeah. But I just decided to let me hold on a little bit mm -hmm. because maybe we can get a, a solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was not very easy actually yeah, yeah, yeah. having a very young girl in my my car. Mm -hmm. and the girl is drunk. Mm -hmm. And you know the risk of having a girl who is oh. drunk. Maybe she may wake up and start saying that I, uh, I, 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 uh, yeah. I, I molested her yeah, or yeah. anything. Yeah. So it was not a very good experience. Yeah. Actually, and then it was at night. Yeah. Actually, having said that, there was once uh, a girl who filed a case like that. Yes. Um, she was drunk and then she went to up to Kiambu very far. Mm -hmm. And then when she got there, the Uber driver uh, tried to ask him to pay. And then uh, the lady was a bit hesitant. Mm -hmm. So they, they argued for some time and then the lady opened the door and went out and started shouting yeah screaming i've been raped i've been raped or he tried to molest me mm -hmm. and then the next thing uh, so many people have come to uh, now to, to the rescue the, yeah, the because rescue it, of the girl yeah for the rescue of the girl because here in kenya we have something called the mob justice mm -hmm. mob justice is if you have an offense you are not taken to the police station but the people beat you mm -hmm. so the people tried to beat him I think maybe he, he might have fled to the police station or yes. the police came. Mm. And then uh, later he was imprisoned, stayed inside for seven months. Mm. By the time uh, it, uh, the truth he, was, the truth was out, yes. he had already spent seven months, very productive mm. hours. His name was Tanish mm. and the name of the, mm. uh, the, the, the the taxi company was also Tanish. Yeah. So such cases do happen. Actually, that is what was in my, my mind, uh -huh. the fear of if this girl wakes up uh -huh. and starts screaming. Uh -huh. In fact, even this time when I was talking to the, to the uh, security guards uh -huh. at uh -huh. the gate, uh -huh. I decided not to get into that car again. Uh -huh. So I was just actually asking while I'm completely outside the car. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, was, I had that fear uh -huh. that this girl uh -huh. might, might wake up uh -huh. and start screaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you know, girls, that is the way they behave when uh -huh. they find themselves in a danger yeah. or in a, in, a, in a place that they are, they, 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 they don't, don't know the people who are around them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and especially those who are drunk. Uh -huh. First thing, uh -huh. they start racing Harlem. Yeah. Uh, uh, thinking that they they are in danger. Yeah. yeah. So that was what that was in my my biggest fear. Yeah. And I wanted uh, to ensure that even if she wakes up, uh -huh. she will wake up when I'm not in that car. Yeah. yeah. So that. Yeah. That's why I was with the soldiers. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. they can tell uh -huh. exactly. I came there when the girl was still asleep. Yeah. And uh, we stayed with them while while they were still asleep. Oh, yeah. Actually, that is the thing. Yeah. And uh, I think that is the, the one the, the, the one reason as to why it controlled me from going to the police station. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know the nearest police station, mm -hmm. and I didn't know mm -hmm. what might happen between here and the police station. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Actually, I really commend you for uh, being very wise and uh, handling with a lot of decorum because this. It's always a very delicate scenario, mm. and uh, you know, uh, sometimes when somebody is drunk, yeah. uh, their judgment is uh, clogged. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the case of the girl, he, she can be asleep, then she wakes up, mm -hmm. she might even not know where she is. Yes, yeah, so at least you did the right thing and uh, you ensured that she arrived home safe. Yes, actually, while I was in China. Mm. Okay, first of all, I normally live in China. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. But now I'm here. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, while in China, I normally follow up what's happening. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. and WhatsApp, some time back, mm -hmm. there was uh, an Uber driver mm -hmm. who had carried a lady mm -hmm. behind. Mm -hmm. And then the lady was very drunk. Yes. So, the lady was uh, very abusive. Yeah. Uh, so the guy tried to be very calm and polite and ask the lady where she is heading and uh, to stop uh, abusing him. But the lady kept on going and going. Yeah. So the driver was doing a, a recording of yeah. the experiences. Mm. And actually, 
uh, apart from the lady uh, abusing the guy, mm. very very bad uh, abuses. Mm. He actually say that. Mm. She actually say that. When we get to where we are going, I will open the door and scream that you you tried to rape me and yes. you'll be beaten to death. Mm. Imagine. Yes, I remember that story. Oh, you, you heard of that yes, story? Yes, I remember that story. Actually, so, the recording is what saved the driver. Yeah, the recording is what saved the yes, driver. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because maybe he could have gone to where he's going mm. and then the lady comes out and says that then people come, attack mm -hmm. the driver, then you are beaten for mm. no reason. Mm. And then you are taken to the police station, then you end up staying one year in. Yeah. By the time the truth comes out... You are already done. Yeah, you are already yeah. done. Life, so, your life actually is totally yeah, yeah. damaged. Yeah. yeah. So it's very, very good for, for that. Uh, I, I think, because in China, mm. somewhere here, mm -hmm. we normally have a camera. Okay. On the on the car. On every car. On every car. Uh -huh. So when you get a request, mm. uh, when the trip starts, mm. the recording, there's one camera, camera. here yeah. and one camera at the back. At the back, yeah. Yeah. So and it also is good quality and it it, it captures some audio. Mm -hmm. So as you interact with the 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 client, mm -hmm. um, everything is captured. Mm -hmm. So. In case of any crime, in case of any unfortunate occurrence, mm. actually they can be able to track down mm. what happened because that piece of information mm. is saved on the memory card or the storage card. Mm. Mm. So later, uh, if somebody tries to accuse you of something, you just go to mm. yeah they say you just go to the recording something mm. and then they see the evidence and then they make a judgment or two. And unfortunately that uh, technology is not, is not yet here. Uh -huh. I know there are some people who have already installed uh, CCTV cameras in their cars, uh -huh. but not so many. Uh -huh. And especially these, uh, these, uh, these uh, small taxi uh -huh. vehicles. Uh -huh. Not so many of us uh -huh. who have installed that. Basically, uh -huh. basically the reason is it's a, it's a cost. Yeah. It's a cost of even uh, installing the system. Yeah. You find that maybe you may not be able to 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 to, to, to finance the uh -huh. system. Yeah. And yet uh, the cost of uh, the business yeah. may not be able to accommodate yeah. that kind of an expenditure. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I think that is the way we should go because yeah, yeah. these cases are there and they are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before before I started driving this car, uh -huh. when I bought actually the car, I was uh -huh. working in another organization, uh -huh. and I gave the car to a driver. Uh -huh. That first year, uh -huh. and uh, the driver was car hijacked here in town. With this car? With this car. What? The driver was car hijacked. By Actually, a client? I, 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 yes, a request came, mm -hmm. and then uh, two gentlemen mm -hmm. got into the car, mm -hmm. and they were heading towards those sites of Kiambu, mm -hmm. uh, Lower Kabete, mm -hmm. Kiambu. So, Why do those, those sites are normally have cases? Why? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think most of the facts stay yeah. there. Okay, okay. So they they ended there. They took actually Westlands, mm -hmm. Lower Kabete, mm -hmm. and then now they he started driving. When when they were actually in the middle of Lower Kabete mm -hmm. before Gashie, mm -hmm. the guys introduced themselves as thugs. Mm -hmm. They introduced the, themselves. Yeah, yeah, as the to the driver. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They, they told the driver. Uh -huh. Uh, today, my friend, uh -huh. uh, we are giving you an opportunity to live again. To say, to say your final prayer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we are going to get this car, mm -hmm. and uh, you will be very, very lucky mm -hmm. if we are going to leave you. Okay. So we want to go to, to to request you to cooperate mm -hmm. because we know this car doesn't belong to you. Okay. You are just a driver. Yeah. So just cooperate. Mm -hmm. We take the car. Mm -hmm and uh, whatever else that you have mm -hmm. and save your life mm -hmm. so in that now conversation the driver actually panicked mm -hmm. because he knew now things are not going to be very good mm -hmm. and they went all the way to almost actually the end of the uh, lower kabete mm -hmm. road mm -hmm. then uh, they instructed him to take off to go into a, 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 a very steep road which is not the main road uh -huh. 
to turn actually towards that uh, small road mm -hmm. towards a very thick place yeah good enough behind the the, the, the car mm -hmm. There were these security vehicles, these patrol security oh, vehicles. Oh, okay, they, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you know, I don't remember the, the company, uh -huh. but there are security vehicles uh -huh. which do patrols. Uh -huh. That uh, those guys, when they saw that uh, my my car actually being driven in that uh, location, they started. They decided to follow. Okay. And uh, they followed actually the car uh -huh. while in full full light. Uh -huh. So when the, 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 these thugs saw that there is a car which, which is following them, mm -hmm. they told the gentleman, you have called security, we are going to kill you. What? But uh, the good enough mm -hmm. is that uh, the car, the, 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 the security vehicle came very fast mm -hmm. and stopped behind them. Mm -hmm. So these thugs, they were two, mm -hmm. they just took off. They opened the door and... They opened the door and took off with their guns. Oh, but they? they went with the phone, my driver's phone, mm -hmm. and uh, 3,000, which was was a cash. What? Uh, so, the guy was saved actually by that security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it, it <laughs> yeah. happened uh, automatically. Yes. Those are the guys who saved him. What? Then now when they came, they approached the driver and mm -hmm. the driver explained what has happened. Mm -hmm. And they escorted him actually to Lower Kabete police station. Okay, okay, to write a statement. Yeah, so he went there, he wrote a statement. Uh -huh. uh, he didn't have his uh, phone, they had gone with his wallet, mm -hmm. which had the, 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 the ID. Okay. So he was told, because uh, now we have to identify the owner of the car, mm -hmm. Uh, we cannot just release you like that. Mm -hmm. You leave the car here, mm -hmm. come tomorrow with the owner of the car. Okay, okay. So I now went there tomorrow, the following day. Mm -hmm. And uh, the police gave me the hobby number. Mm -hmm. I went to the Kanban, mm -hmm. which had given this driver the, the request. Mm -hmm. I went to them, I showed them uh, uh, my, my driver's number. Mm -hmm. I told them, please, just uh, search whether you can see the content of this uh, trip mm -hmm. so that we can track the person who requested. Oh, yeah, the number, because yeah, the, the yeah. number which requested is actually on the system. Yeah, yeah in the system. Yeah. And you know, the account for my driver was very active. Mm -hmm. And actually, when they went with the phone, mm -hmm. the trip had not be ended. Yeah. It was still active. Yeah. So the scammer actually de decided not to give me the number of the, the customer who requested. Why? They told, they told me that we don't share contacts for the customers, for, the... for their clients. What? <laughs> they refused <laughs> no, no. and they told me that the police has a way of searching for, for that. So I can go and deal with the police. So, so, so they didn't help me, the, 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 the company. So maybe they wanted you to... Uh, uh, of course, you had contacted the police. They wanted the police to follow from there. Yeah, but you know, the police told me go to the company, mm -hmm. get has the number mm -hmm. of the people who requested yeah. or the person who requested. Mm -hmm. So that now we can follow from there. You see, the police do not have the number of the person who requested. Yeah, I gave them the number of my driver, mm -hmm. but now they do not have the number for the person, the customer who requested the request. So that's why they needed a number uh -huh. uh, which has details of the client. Yeah, yeah. But now, this company decided not to give me. I don't want to reveal the name of the company, but, yeah, but, it's okay. but they just decided not to give me. What? Yeah. So it makes me to ask a question. How safe are you as Uber drivers or as Bolt drivers or as any driver who, was, who is operating either through an organization or uh, through freelancing? How safe are you guys? Uh, when you are driving with, uh, especially the hub that I you have requested with, uh -huh. I don't know whether it's, it's it's fair actually to share the name uh -huh. online. Uh -huh. I would I wouldn't want us to yeah, expose, yeah, yeah. expose yeah. them. Yeah, oh, it's okay. But uh, when you are driving with that company uh -huh. at night, uh -huh. it's not advisable actually to use it at night. Okay, okay. 
but there is another company which is a bit safer yeah using at night okay okay and uh that is what we prefer oh yeah actually yeah. after this trip i will just switch off oh, okay, okay this okay. hub that okay. we are using because oh. i don't want to work with it yeah, it's okay, anymore it's okay. because uh -huh. because of that experience yeah, and yeah. many other experiences uh -huh. because that is what has uh, most of the drivers who have had very bad uh, experiences okay. yeah. uh -huh. It has always happened with this hub, yeah, yeah. the one we are using now. Okay, okay. So I didn't. It it is not very safe mm -hmm. for uh, for for drivers and especially at these uh, late mm -hmm. hours at, mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, sometimes you only we usually say mm -hmm. danger is everywhere. Yeah, you yeah. can meet danger anywhere. You oh. can find your. You can even meet danger during the day. Mm -hmm. You can uh, find thugs mm -hmm. even uh, in your estate where you stay. Yeah. So danger is everywhere, but uh, basically we are not very safe okay, okay. using these hubs. Mm -hmm. We are not very safe. And especially mm -hmm. when the company refuses to cooperate, mm -hmm. when you, you report such kind of uh, uh, cases. Okay, okay. Because sometimes they try to, uh, to not to expose their name. Mm -hmm because of their repetition yeah, yeah, yeah but basically sometimes it's not very easy mm -hmm. to work with this hub yeah and especially at night yeah yeah the statue of dead and mm. yeah actually such experiences now <laughs> the, the kid uh, if you get enough money you can install the recorders or the cctv mm. on the car so that uh, you minimize but mm. now it has to be done secretively they have to be you see like this small thing yes now it should be modified to be a camera, a camera. that captures actually good quality mm. so that when whenever somebody is inside the car they even don't notice they don't know. yeah yeah so they can do anything you just cooperate but at the end of the day you know you have captured their face or you have captured their voice and you can trace that down there is one of my friends who actually installed uh, the camera mm -hmm. he just had it on on what uh, you know there are cars which come with cameras but the mm -hmm. cameras are for outside yeah. experience yeah they are not installed inside the car mm -hmm. so this gentleman decided to integrate mm -hmm the outside the cameras <laughs> with with uh, with a uh, two actually mm -hmm. inside the car mm -hmm. but unfortunately when some some client discover that the, the camera oh they yeah. they decide not to travel with that driver why immediately they notice there is a cctv camera you tell him just go i will get another car uh, how big is the camera you know there are these uh, cameras which are you can actually see it. Uh -huh. You know, we don't have uh, those very small uh, cameras uh -huh. uh, already here. Uh -huh. But the ones which are now installed in, big, in, big mod, in most most uh, vehicles uh -huh. right here, uh -huh. they are not very small. So you are able actually to see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, are able yeah. to see it. So uh -huh. when they notice that there is a there is a camera, there is a CCTV camera. Uh -huh. They feel that you are exposing their pri their privacy. Their privacy. Yeah, they oh. they don't want their stories maybe to be to be heard. Mm -hmm. They don't see it as a security. Yeah. yeah. A gadget. Yeah. They see it as an That's exposure a, oh, gadget. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to expose them. At the end of the day, mm. it's not for you to record them, but it's like when you go to a restaurant. Mm and it has a cctv camera you yes. can't tell the restaurant Not i can't put, eat here yeah. because mm -hmm. you you guys are recording me actually that gentleman my friend had to remove the camera from inside the car mm -hmm. yeah he had to remove it because uh he he, he got two kind of uh, clients mm -hmm. simultaneously mm -hmm. refusing the car because of the camera what yeah so so it is it is uh, it is something that maybe needs a lot of education in our in our country yeah uh, so that people can know it is not about uh, exposing them yeah it is about security yeah it is about uh, uh, maybe putting records mm -hmm. and that kind of thing and yeah. also mm -hmm. the client they, also, they should also know mm -hmm. the camera is there for their own safety, safety yeah. not not for not for the driver alone yeah. even for their own safety because yeah. 
in the case of anything they will be have some record yeah, yeah, to, to yeah, share yeah, this is it. what happened uh, in the in the in the trip yeah. and this is the experience i had yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's something that people need to be educated to yeah. understand exactly the benefit uh, and the need to have such kind of things yeah sure, sure. it has already happened in most of uh, yeah. buildings in, in town yeah we find CCTV everywhere, in, yeah. in malls, in churches, mm -hmm. in hotels. Mm -hmm. So why not have them in uh, in public vehicles? Yeah, so it's, it's just uh, maybe the, the notion, but yeah. in China I think it's, it's a policy for all these uh, PSVs, public mm -hmm. service vehicles to... It's a requirement. Yeah, it's a requirement. Mm -hmm. So over time, mm -hmm. if it if it becomes a policy mm. then people can embrace it yeah but yeah. now with some education yeah yeah that, that will uh, basically minimize some of the cases that are happening yeah sure uh, and you find that some uh, people are safe mm -hmm. a bit safer mm -hmm. than uh, what is happening yeah, yeah. but it's something that needs now a lot of uh, efforts to ensure that uh, ensure that our people embrace it yeah. because it's a new technology you know most of the people they are they are, they are, they are not happy yeah they don't embrace change mm -hmm. it takes a lot of a lot time of actually time. to yeah, sure. to find that people embrace change yeah. in every aspect of life yeah so that is one of the issues that we are praying that yeah. one time it will happen mm -hmm. we'll have uh, our, our, our business will have some sense of safety yeah. for everyone, mm -hmm. not for only drivers and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for everyone. Yeah. yeah. We are almost ap approaching uh, our final destination where I begin another journey uh, somewhere around here. So, just to balance the scale, I ask you uh, worst experiences for. For, for the ladies and for the gents. Mm. Now, do you have one for, for, from the men? Any worst experience? Yeah, yeah. One, one of the worst experience for men mm -hmm. is that I, I took, I took a, a gentleman from an hospital mm -hmm. called uh, uh, Mary, Mary Macklin. Mm -hmm. The trip was going towards, uh, towards Gong. Mm -hmm. Actually, he had indicated Gong, Gong bus station. Uh -huh. So when you go to Gong bus station, uh -huh. he told me, no, I just use this as a, as a landmark. Uh -huh. We are still proceeding with the, with the trip. Okay, okay. So, so I told him, uh -huh. okay, so that we, I, I, I don't now lose on the kilometers that we are going to cover uh -huh. from here. I request you to change the destination uh -huh. so that uh, the, 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 the hub can be able to calculate. Yeah the extra kilometers that we are going to cover. Yeah. So the guy was a bit reluctant, uh -huh. but eventually when I told him, then if you are not going to change the destination, uh -huh. then let's finish the trip here. Uh -huh. He eventually agreed. Uh -huh. We went. Uh -huh. After like one kilometer, uh -huh. he told me that we are supposed to go back to the, to the bus station. Uh -huh. He has to keep uh, pick something there. Uh -huh. And then now we come back. Uh -huh. Uh, to the same destination uh -huh. and I told him that uh, the hub that you are using uh -huh. doesn't calculate as you go it has you have to change the destination so that uh, maybe it can be able to calculate the full length yeah the guy became now bitter uh -huh. because you know when you change the de de destination yeah. the prices go up yeah. but eventually he changed when we ended the trip, mm -hmm. the price was almost three times the price that we were shown when we started the trip. Yeah. So he became so rough and he actually started wanted, wanted uh, to beat me. What? Uh, and because he was a bit uh, huge than me, mm -hmm. I decided to be very careful and uh, uh, trick him. Mm -hmm. So I told him that uh, let's 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 uh, try to look for somewhere where I can turn. Uh -huh. And I managed to get to the main road. Uh -huh. So I drove off to the all the way to the police station, the oh, nearest that's police very, station. Very wise. Very, very so wise. when we went to the police station, the uh -huh. police asked me what is the problem, uh -huh. and I explained. Uh -huh. So the guy was forced actually to pay me uh -huh. the full amount. Oh, okay. He paid. 
Then I switched off and went home. Mm -hmm. After three days, mm -hmm. the the amount of money that the, that this gentleman had paid me mm -hmm. it was one thousand seven hundred. Mm -hmm was loaded into my balance so when i asked the hub what has happened mm -hmm. they told me that i took money from the client without good reason so and uh, <laughs> they told me that we have already refunded the money to the client what so that is now your bill and uh, do they follow the police? Do they get the side of the... Nothing. I even shared the trip, uh, the trip uh, uh, journey mm -hmm. kind of map. But they refused to follow my my side of story. Now I see why you prefer have <laughs> A over have B. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they completely actually decided to load all the 1,700 mm -hmm. to my side. Mm -hmm. They didn't even uh, say that uh, I, I they, they, they will take over whatever was above the the, 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 the initial trip. Mm -hmm. They took everything and they refunded the customer. Oh, so I went all those kilometers for nothing. Without, for nothing. Hmm? It was so painful mm -hmm. paying 1,700, yeah. which I know very well. Mm -hmm. This is money that uh, was genuinely mine. But yet it has been given to a customer because he just one went mm -hmm. lied, mm -hmm. gave a, a false story, mm -hmm. and then now they accepted the false story mm -hmm. and refused my other story, the other side of the story. The customer is not always right. So they said it, 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 the customer was right at that particular time. But in but any business, for me, they normally say yeah. the customer is always right. Yeah, but, but now, now for such a case, yeah. it's so, a misleading statement. Yeah. The customer is not always so, right. So they totally mistreated me. Yeah, because the customer mm -hmm. can manipulate such yeah. a statement. And basically they manipulated Because I even told them, mm -hmm. this gentleman paid me in the presence of the police. Yeah. Can I produce evidence? Mm -hmm. The company refused. So, you, oh, you can imagine <laughs> such, a, such an experience. Yeah, very, very bad yeah? experience. Yeah? yeah. And you can imagine, like, now the trip that we have had with you, mm -hmm. all the way from the place that I took you. Mm -hmm. we, we have come all the way, mm -hmm. we have even experienced traffic. Yeah. Uh, the distance is not even very short, yeah. and then now you say mm -hmm. that you're going not going to pay me because <laughs> the price has gone up. That's unfair yeah. on your side. Mm. Very so unfair. that is actually what actually happened, yeah. and uh, I have never mm -hmm. forgotten that experience. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. never forgotten that yeah. <laughs> because it was very painful. Mm -hmm. Whenever I I I. I put on my hub. Mm -hmm. It was always telling me that I, I they owe me. Mm -hmm. I have to pay this this money, exactly. and it was very painful. And if you don't pay, you can't. If you, if you don't pay, they can't give you a, a client a trip. Oh. If you don't pay, uh -huh. they don't give you a trip. Just there is, I'm recording on another mod which I don't like. Sorry? Yeah. yeah uh, so this place we are going, uh -huh. sometimes they, they charge parking fee. I don't know whether they're traveling to right now. Uh, right now I'm traveling to Kitale. Oh, you're going to Kitale? Yeah, then I go because my home is also in Kitale. Mm -hmm. So after Kitale, I sleep for two hours, I wake up mm -hmm. and I start my journey to West Pokot County in the morning. So it's uh, 45 minutes there. Yeah. So after that, uh, I attend the wedding and we document. And, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, we call it a day. Call it a day. I'm traveling all the way to Kitali. So they will not allow us to go in. Madame, yeah? I'll do it So I think when you come back for that. The worst thing to do is to start paying you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Is it the same same number? I yeah, the same number, the same number. We keep left. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying. Yeah. 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 After 621, what's the last number? 0722 uh -huh. 462 uh -huh. 103 So Boniface Yes Okay uh, It's been a nice experience interacting with you Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate. So at this juncture, I I don't know if we'll meet again, but if we meet again, we'll have another conversation. Yeah. yeah thank but you. thank you so much. I appreciate. Until next time, this is Anoto in China. Thank this you. is Boniface. Boniface in Kenya. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.